Hey guys, this is Rob with the uh, next video in the electrical project setup for Revit uh, streamlined version. Uh, today we are going to be starting a new electrical Revit project from scratch. Um, we have nothing created and so this is how uh, we set it up in the electrical department. So let's get right into it. Um, we want, we're in Revit 2020 again and we are going to create a new model now we start from a electrical template which has oh so many things in it that we need uh, certain families we need uh, you know line types and text styles and uh, sheets preset and views preset and view templates uh, even panel schedule layouts, things like that, are all in our template. So we want to pick the MFIA electrical template. Now, if this doesn't pop up in your drop-down, then we'll have to go through and browse to find it. Um, if you need help with that, I can help you with that. But let's go to electrical template. We're creating a new project. We're not creating another template. Okay. Now this is doing a model upgrade because our template is um, was made in Revit 2019 so it needs to up convert to the 2020 we're not right now creating templates in every version um, unless that new version has something we really need to upgrade to but this will just do a quick upgrade to get the template upgraded for this project as you can see, it starts us in the project starting view, which is, like we said in the overview, just a two-dimensional, simple view to, to generate that we start from. One thing I'll note here is there's a few warnings down here to remind people of the following things. Number one, only open from the server. Right now we're starting from new, but next time you open a project, you will want to uh, navigate onto the server to our G drive into the appropriate project folder and open the project from there. That is where the what's called the central or master model will be stored that has the latest and greatest information. One thing in Revit is we can have a number of people working in the same central model editing it so that you know we can all work on it at the same time when we open that central model it actually creates a local copy of that on your local PC that you will modify and then synchronize periodically with the central uh, model on the server this just reminds you don't navigate into your personal PC and find a local copy and open from there it most likely will not be the current file. Somebody else may have um, added some edits. So the only local, or the only recent correct file is on the server. Number two, as you're opening that from the server, make sure that the box is checked that says create local file. You will see that when you open up uh, a file that's already been created and then number three save and synchronize every 30 minutes we have it set up to automatically do this so when it asks you to sync click OK make sure you sync synchronize okay that's the opening starting view let's see what we want to do here is um, save this project right away with the appropriate name so what I would do instead of just hitting save up top on the quick access toolbar we want to save it as a name so file save as a project we're not saving a template or even a family we're saving a project now we need to go to the proper folder for this tutorial we have 
an MFIA Revit tutorial folder on the G drive that mimics a project. It has the docs, electrical, mechanical, some of the normal folders you would see, plus a few other things. But we're going to save this, since it's electrical, we're going to save it into the electrical folder like you would have saved some CAD. Now we have a naming scheme that we are using to try to be consistent and informative with our project files. So what we will do is give this a job number, the job number for the project. We're going to make one up here. We're going to call this 100. And you can see something else popped up that I saved it similar. Um, MFI Revit, tr uh, let's call it tutorial. That's the project name. And then this is an electrical model. So we'll call it electrical. I go all caps because we're very important. And then put the version of Revit that it is created in because that's very important. We cannot open a later version of Revit file in an earlier version of Revit. You can, as we saw with that template, you can upconvert an older Revit um, file to a newer. But if you save it that way, then you cannot open it back in the older version of Revit. So the end story here is we want to open and save things in the Revit version that they were created in. This is 2020. So that's the file name, job number, project description, discipline, and then the Revit version. This is very helpful later when you go to open a project and try to remember which version of Revit it is saved in. This makes it readily apparent. Now before I hit save, I want to show you the options. Under options, there's some file save options. Revit will create a number of backups of files as you save them. Now, as you know, we create our own server backup every night. So if for some reason we needed a previous version of a file, we can go back and get that and retrieve that. So we do not need to keep a number of backups on our server. So let's just make sure it's one. Sometimes it will default to three. Other times you will see it will default all the way up to 20. And remember, this is multiple copies of what can be a very large Revit model. So let's leave it at one or set it to one. The rest of this doesn't matter right now. OK. And then save it. OK, it's saving our project to the server. Now this is right now just a, a project on the server, a model on the server. You can't even call it a central model yet because it's not set up to be a central model. We'll do that later. But right now it's saved on the server and I can proceed.